Hey guys, DVD Mike back again. Time for another tiny bit of an update. Due to the money run out, this will be the last one for a little while. But, starting with LXG on Blu ray. My big apologies to this film. Simon Norrington is a great visual storyteller. And since it was in the 2 for 30 in HMV, and I've been looking for an excuse not to pay 30 quid for it. I think it's worth it on Blu ray. It does have some of the extras on the double disc DVD. It's got two commentaries, shooting gallery, Java game, personal scene selections, so it's not a lot, but it's something for a fairly Fox DVD, it's Blue Raven. I think it's worth it just because it has some of the extras. It does so much right. I know it's not the um, graphic novel, but I still think it's a it's a decent enough watch and it doesn't deserve the um vitrol that the kids bowed at it. Next we have another great visual storyteller, Christoph Garn's Silent Hill. This is a great film, I'm waiting to buy this on Blu-ray for so long, trying to find the definitive edition. From what I hear, it still isn't as good as the HD DVD that's put out in Germany, but it's miles better than the US MPEG-2 encode that Sony put out. And again, it was in the 230, so I got that in LXG and I'm waiting for it. Love this film, it's one of the better computer games and movie times mainly because they were so closely involved Team Silent and Konami plus the fact that Christoph Garns is amazing and because it's written by Roger Avery I think he has a decent hold on the subject hope that bodes well for his um, Castle Wolfenstein update is that one there and last not but not least after um, if you saw my last update I had the um, Kevin Smith sold out Evening Harder, not Evening Harder, Three Evening with Kevin Smith, where um, he did talk about, and he's talked about it before, the fact that he was slagged off on a TV show, and since so many people said it was so good, I thought I'd give it a watch. Picked up Entourage Seasons 1 and 2, just to see if it sort of holds up to <clears throat> what people have said about it. Got Season 1 there. It's mostly got because while I was in Tony and Guy Get My Hair Done, I was reading Arena and I had an interview with Jeremy Piven. I always had time for Jeremy Piven. And he spoke um, a lot of good words about his work on Entourage and how much he likes doing it. So I thought, I'll give it a watch. And I'm only about four episodes in for the first disc, but I think it's a damn fine show. It's pretty damn funny. It's not. Funny's a big bank theory or something like that, or how I met your mother, it's more knowing. But it's I think it's pretty damn good. I mean you do get a lot of celebrity cameos, which I think is half the fun of it. The fact that when they send send themselves up on the show. I think it's um it's a decent little purchase. I don't know whether I'll carry on with it. It turns on the second series turns out, but now that it's going cheap, because I picked that up for I think season one on its own was eighteen ninety nine, and one and two were I think I put twenty five pound for them. So there's only a couple of quid more to get season two as well. So I thought yeah, that's worth a go since I was in there and since I was looking for something to do with my time, pick that up as well. So that's the update. That's um, like I said, it was only a small one, but I imagine next month it'll be even bigger. So until then, I'll see you again.